Hey everybody, Mr. Brosnahan here for a quick Marion Minute. Today is Monday the 6th of May. Hopefully you've had a great start to your day and had a phenomenal weekend. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to send out, it is Teacher Appreciation Week. Thank you teachers for everything that you do every single day, not only here in the Marion School District, but throughout the state and throughout the nation. Um, it is so vital, the role that you play in our students' lives each and every single day. And we sincerely thank you. Obviously, one week isn't uh, enough testament to be able to, to project and to, to thank you on that. It should be done every single day. But obviously, throughout this week, if you do see a teacher or you are a teacher, please tell them thank you for everything that they do. Um, the Booster Club is showering our teachers and staff here this week. So I want to send a big shout out as well to the Booster Club for all that you're doing this week to help say thank you to our teachers and our staff. Um, as we get going along, things are crazy around here. Um, with the end of the year drawing near, um, we've got sporting events taking place all over. We've got rescheduled sporting events. We've got potential cancellations and we're gonna do our best to communicate the best that we're, we are able to let you know what may or may not be taking place. <clears throat> By all means, please take a look at our events page on our school's website. Um, that'll help to guide you and, and kind of weed through some of those things that may or may not be something that would pertain to you. But hopefully here today, we can touch base on a few things um, to, to get you involved and, and have you part of some things taking place here coming up. Um, over the next week or two here as school closes out, our elementary uh, students and middle school students have some field trips planned. So we're excited to have them get out of the building and do some exploring and exper experiencing on the outsides of the building. Uh, so hopefully they will have a good time there. Um, on May 9th, <clears throat> big announcement for May 9th and May 10th. Uh, the All School Musical will be performed here at the, at the, uh, in the old gym. Students and crew have been working diligently to fine tune Emma, which is going to be the performance. It is called Emma. And that will be here at 7 p.m. on the 9th and the 10th. Please uh, mark your calendar for that. We'd love to see you in attendance as the students and, st and crew have worked extremely extremely hard and put in lots and lots of hours uh, to make this play go off, hopefully without a hitch. <clears throat> Looking forward to it. Um, as we could continue to go along, if you are a parent of an incoming sixth grader or an incoming freshman, so if you have a fifth grader that's going to be a sixth grader or an eighth grader that's going to be a ninth grader, next Tuesday, May 15th, there will be a <clears throat> uh, middle school and high school event night. I apologize, that date is wrong. It's on May 14th, Tuesday, May 14th at six o'clock in the evening. We're going to invite parents of incoming sixth graders in to uh, meet with staff and administration, kind of give a rundown of kind of things to expect uh, uh, for the sixth grade and moving into middle school and some of the changes that you might see as a student and a parent there. And then also for the 8th graders that are going into ninth grade at 645, would like to invite those students and their parents in for the 645 uh, rundown. For the high school students that are incoming freshmen, we would love to see you here at the school. Um, then on the 15th here, we've got in the morning at 830, we've got the middle school and high school academic awards ceremony which will be taking place in the new gym. So we're really excited to uh, celebrate the academic achievements of our students. Uh, Mr. Lieberman is working hard to put that together. So you are more than welcome to attend that, which again is at 8.30 a.m. on May 15th. And then the senior class will graduate. Officially, commencement for graduation will be on May 18th at 1 o'clock here at the school. Would love for anybody that is interested in um, celebrating our seniors to join. Uh, we will be here to have them graduate on the 18th. Um, as we get going along, a couple big things here as far as in the way of the school bond and the school building project. Want to give a quick update here. 
Um, as we're continuing to go along, um, the, the, the school board did pass a bond resolution um, for the voters to again vote on a six million dollar bond, which is a decrease of about uh, not of about a decrease of a half a million dollars. So prior to the the vote was in January for a six and a half million dollar bond. The bond for this upcoming election, which will be June fourth, which will be the primary election date, uh, will be for six million dollars. And to go along with that, um, I'm going to be doing some town hall or kind of roundtable meetings that I'd like to invite individuals to. Um, and it's going to be on the next uh, Thursdays coming up. So it'll be Thursday, May 9th, Thursday the 16th, Thursday the 23rd, and Thursday the 30th. Um, there were, will be events that I would like to have you come if you're interested in learning more. Um, it's not going to be necessarily a full rundown of, of the project itself like what was done in the past, but I will be there to be able to talk about the facts of the project, um, information regarding the project. So if you're interested in being an informed voter, I would highly like to welcome you and, and uh, have you come to these meetings and ask questions. Um, definitely, it's the goal is not to uh, necessarily change your vote if you're a, a no vote um, I completely understand that but I want to make sure that if you are a no vote that you have the factual information on the project to be able to make that informed decision um, if you are a yes vote obviously it would be more than welcome to to uh, field your questions as well and just ensure again that everybody has all of the pertinent information as it comes to the project that we're looking at doing here at the school. So on May 9th um, at 11.30, I will be at Carol's Diner. Carol's Diner, May 9th at 11.30. I talked with them there at Carol's, and they, were, um, they, they stated that they would be open to having me come in there that day. Um, they also will be running a special, a lunch special that day of shredded pork sandwiches with mashed potatoes and gravy and pork and beans as well for $10.95. Obviously, they have other options as well if that's not something that you're interested in. But would like to welcome you there to Carol's Diner at 1130 on the 9th. Then, coming up here on the 16th, um, I will be in Monroe at the church in Monroe. Um, where individuals, and that'll be at 6.30 in the evening. Uh, and I talked to pastor there here this morning, and he stated that it would be fine for, for me to come in, and I wanted to welcome everybody to come to the church there in Monroe. Um, pastor said that they would be making some, you know, they'd have some juice and some lemonade maybe available for light refreshments. Um, so please come that evening again that is on thursday may 16th and that'll be at 6 30 p.m and then uh the next two dates are yet to be determined i do not have those dates set as of yet so if you are interested in potentially having a meeting like this uh, whether it's at your local business if you'd like to have it at a house or at city hall or whatever the case might be um, you're more than welcome to reach out to me and I'd be happy to speak with you in regards to maybe setting something like that up. One of those two dates um, will be here at the school, but of course, if there's any feedback from the community on specific dates, I'd like to try to be as flexible as I can to accommodate that and make sure that I'm available for that. <clears throat> so. Again, the ninth at Carol's Diner, they will be running a lunch special, which will be a shredded pork sandwich with mashed potatoes gravy, along with some pork and beans for $10.95. Then on the 16th, uh, up in Monroe at the church there, thank you very much to both of those locations for inviting me in and making these things happen. <clears throat> All right, um, as we continue to go along, we do have some information as far as uh, job opportunities here at the school. We do have some openings. We'd love to send those out. Please spread the word. Uh, we're looking for some team members to join our team um, in the area of uh, special education. We're looking for a special education teacher. Uh, that is for K through 12th grade. 
Uh, so please connect with us or check out the website for more information. Uh, then we also do have some classified positions. We do have a paraprofessional uh, opportunity open currently. Uh, we do have some kitchen help, not only in the area of cooking, but obviously in the area of cleaning up, dishwashing, etc. And then we also have our food service director and kitchen manager position that is open at the current time and would welcome applications for those or you're more than welcome to give me a call here at school to learn more about each of those positions. Um, we do have some advising and coaching opportunities so for anybody that does apply to the school we do have uh, head wrestling coaches available, we have a JV uh, junior high golf coach that's going to be available for next year and then we do have a couple of advisors the National Honor Society as well as um, the student council advisors open at the current time. So definitely reach out if you're interested in learning more, want to work with our kids and work within the school. That'd be fantastic to, uh, to discuss further on that opportunity or on, on those opportunities. As always for next year, as we're getting going, um, we are looking for substitute teachers as well. So if you're interested in, in that type of a role, you are more than welcome to contact us. Otherwise, I think that that's it. I'm going to try to leave it there. Looks like we're under 12 minutes here, but I want to make sure that hopefully everything was conveyed and hopefully I didn't leave anything out. I'm sure I probably did, but there's so many things taking place here this week. Really excited uh, to have a successful year this year. Hopefully the students are feeling the same way. And uh, if you have any questions or concerns, by all means, reach out to me here at the school. Happy to chat anytime. Hope you have a wonderful day and a fantastic week. Be engaged and respectful. Bear Pride.